So as it's my birthday, the 13th of February, that will mean this upcoming Sunday, I figured I'm going to make a birthday cake today. So I took some brown clay and I squashed it between these glass plates into the thickness that I liked. Then I took this um, hard punch sticker thingy and I cut out the heart shape that I needed for the cake. I got this big sewing needle from my candle foundry, uh, what I'm not doing anymore, so I'm using it for crafting. And I'm just making some indents like this all the way around my cake. And I'm taking my time so that it looks like I want it to. I rolled out a piece of the clay into a snake and I'm cutting off small pieces here and rolling them into small balls that I'm going to use for the decoration. I place one of these small balls on the cake on the edge here and I'm using a needle tool to make a few indents um, and then place a new one. And again, make indents as it is uh, one of these whipped cream edges. I'm just taking my time doing this all the way around the edge of my cake. Then I took a red clay and rolled a snake of it. And I am just cutting out here 10 pieces. I want 10 roses. You can do more if you want to. Then I'm going to take one of these pieces and I'm rolling it and flattening it out. And then carefully lifting up one of the tips and rolling it into itself. So this is a very easy um, rose for the cake. And I'm just placing it where I want it to be. And then just doing this with all the roses that I have, I'm going to show it a little more close up this time. I have this leaf silver that I am going to place on a piece of white clay that I rolled out on my pasta machine on the thinnest setting I have. So I'm just placing it on there and uh, kind of pushing it into the clay just like that. I like this exacto knife as it has this pattern here on the handle and I'm just rolling that carefully over the silver foil so that I'm uh, sure it's really stuck on there. And then I'm using this heart shaped puncher to punch out some hearts for decorations. And I'm punching out as many hearts as possible on this piece of clay because I can use them in later crafts. Then I'm taking one of these small hearts and I'm placing it on my cake where I want it to. That's quite easy and simple like that. And I have the rest clay right here and I'm just uh, with my needle scratching a tiny bit of this clay off and just placing it on my cake. I'm sorry that I'm a bit out of frame here. Um, but it's a very easy process this one. This was just to make it a little more neat to look at. After baking I am going to let it cool and then I'm going to pick up the hearts and save them together with some other decorations I have 
so that I can use them in a later craft. That was all for this cake. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.